This is the drive home with Zach and TT for the mill drive home, driving home from the den where it finished. Millwall 2. Queen's Park Rangers nil. Yes, what a game, what a performance. A London derby and three well-deserved points from the team from South London. Before we go any further, thank you very much for your comments on the last video. Thank you very much for your likes. Can we get 100 likes? It's a big task for a, for a midweek game, but can we get it? Put your comments in below. It was good to see Angelo before the game. Um, so thank you very much for your support of the, of the channel and we love the interaction that you have. Oh, I'm absolutely buzzing with that. You know, it's weird because on Saturday, we we got all three points, but the, the, the performance was a little bit lacklustre, put it that way. Today was completely different. The energy from the players, the attacking intent from the players, just the, just the all-round desire was what exactly what you want from, from any team, but especially a mere wall team. And like I said, we fully deserved the, the three points. One one change from from that lineup, um, and that was obviously Benneke Fobe going out and Mason Bennett coming in to, to start up front. And he's, he's made a difference, Bennett, today. His work rate was absolutely superb. But we'll go through the lineup. It was Bartos, Bartosz, the Polish maestro in goal. Uh, a back four of Danny McNamara on the right. Murray Wallace, the absolute legend on the left. Jake Cooper and Sean Hutchinson, the two centre-backs. In front of them, you had Billy Mitchell and Mikel Keftenbeld. Scott Malone on the left. Um, we, can't, we kind of had a midfield three because in front of them, the, you had three that were really interchangeable. Jed kind of played in the hole it, as, as more of a, a centre-attacking midfielder with the two up front in uh, Ollie Burke and, and Mason Bennett. And like I said, they did change positions a lot throughout the first half. And we create a fantastic opportunity in the in the first minute, and for all uh, and we are big Danny McNamara fans. But if you are a, a Danny McNamara or any family members, you, you probably want to look away now. He's probably going to want to look away. Um, the ball's come to him; it's fell to him perfectly at the back post, and he has absolutely tried to smash the granny out of it, uh, sliced completely across it. He's re he really should have been putting us one nil up. Um, but that's probably why he's a right back and not a right midfielder. It, it, it goes wide and you think, OK, we're in the game now. It's it set the right attacking intent and put us where, where you want to be. To be fair, after that, Danny McNamara's had an absolutely superb game. Really good at the back. Gave gave out no you know gave no change to, to QPR players. Uh, like, like I said, he had a really, really good game after after that um, chance. Uh, you, you said that you felt really bad for him, didn't you? Yeah, I... I... Just uh, it it could have been his first goal in a in a Millwall shirt, and it was a bit it was a very disappointing finish. Yeah, yeah, it was. Um, but he's not a striker, so we'll we'll we'll, uh, we'll let him off a little bit. He um, we created the second second chance of the game, and and to be fair, it was a, a great performance from 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 for me from Billy Mitchell today. It was absolutely superb. Every time he got on the ball, he looked to, to take the ball forward, to, to try and challenge them. I think he kind of played more his game rather than what I think he's being asked to do and trying to play a little bit more defensive. Um, but he, he played what I feel he's got in his in his locker. And he, and he, the ball that, you know, people, you know, he's, he's had a bit of criticism, Billy Mitchell, for not playing the ball forward. But that's, I think, one, what he's being told to do and two, a lack of movement in front of him. Well, he gets the ball about 25 yards out from goal and he does a fantastic reverse pass. He's facing right. He plays a beautiful ball across the box to Jed who volleys it and it's and it's a, and it's a good save, but you know, it's it really showed the quality that's in 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 Billy Mitchell and and he grew into the game from that. I think it really did kind of show him what what he's got. Uh, we did create another chance in the first half from a corner. Oh, the guy in front of me just done his tyres. Um, from a corner, Scott Malone, brilliant delivery into the back post. Jake Cooper's arriving. He is, uh, they, they, they didn't touch him, which is very unusual. He gets his head on it, but he knocks it down into the floor, and um, it's, it's an easy save and, and knocked over the bar. But and you, To be honest, you're thinking, is it going to be a very typical meal performance in that 
we're creating chances, but we're not taking them. And QPR offered very little. I think they had one shot in the entire... I think they had one corner that I can remember that kind of bounced around. It was very similar to the second half. Yeah. Kind of bounced around and then, um, then cleared away. So we go in at half-time. I, I forgot to mention that Oli Burke, another on-loan player. Uh, that makes Burke, Freeman. Burke looks like he's probably going to be out for the season. Yeah, Freeman's... Yeah, oh, yeah uh, another hamstring. Yeah, Freeman out for the season. Ojo out for the majority of the season. You know, we've lost Ballard and uh, Bradshaw. Hopefully Ballard's soon to come back into the into the team. But but Burke comes off and, and then Tyler Bury comes on and it's a good challenge. You know, it's good to see... Uh, you know what he could do could he could he perform over a long period of time and the answer to that question was a resounding yes because second half even in the first half I thought he put himself about really well but second half he is he's so direct running on the ball putting them under pressure it's everything that you expect from a QPR team funny enough that the players with pace and power we cr we create a we the first goal comes from an absolutely fantastic ball from Jed Wallace. Gets the ball about 30 yards out, plays it a diagonal into Malone, who's drifted in at the, you know, towards the left side. It's a brilliant ball. And Malone, you think, being Malone, he's probably going to have a volley. He's going to try and take a shot. He doesn't. He plays a fantastic first-time ball across the box to Mason Bennett, who's drifted in at the, at the right post. And it's not an easy finish. He's made it look easy. He's buried it into the bottom right-hand corner. It's a fantastic goal and really gave you every kind of confidence for the fact that we dominated the first half. We've come out of the second half, scored a fantastic goal and then see if we can push on from there. We did obviously sit a little bit deep, a little bit more compact, but the second goal comes pretty soon after. A fantastic interception from, from the man mounting, not Murray Wallace this time, but Sean Hutchinson, brilliant interception, gets in front and then from nowhere starts running with the ball absolutely like galloping through through the middle plays a fantastic ball to Jed and Jed go on I'll let I'll let, I'll let Zach uh, talk about the Jed flick because this is uh, Zach does it in games he, he's renowned for doing it for, for my under 11 lines go on Zach well um, it, it's a very hard skill to pull off and Jed while it was the ball was zooming at him He's somehow got his legs twisted around and he's done uh, kind of like a Cruyff, Cruyff, uh, Ronaldo chop out onto the wing and uh, to Tyler Bury. Then Tyler Bury runs, um, runs straight through and he kind of like takes a little touch in and then he buries it into the, uh, like the middle of the right corner but it was superb assist and a superb finish by Tyler Bury. Kind of a little bit of like a finesse on FIFA, an R1 and, and circle goal all day long and Bury, silly a little bit, takes his shirt off but you can understand the passion that he's got. He scored in front of the den to put us 2-0 up in a London derby and Zach did point out as we were walking to the car just now that that was the only chance we had at winning a London derby this year. Obviously we drew at QPR and lost both games to Fulham so we and, got and lost to uh, Crystal Palace as well. And lost to Crystal Palace, yeah. So we we needed today, and it was it was you know the the fans really grew into the game because we saw the team trying their nuts off. They we got behind them. QPR fans sang well for the first twenty minutes, and we didn't really hear much out of them after that. Um, so after after we scored the second, you, you, you expected us to to sit back, and we and we did, but we didn't really concede many chances. We did have one more good chance with Jed Wallace playing the ball through to, to Mason Bennett, completely all on his own. He did cut in and then take a shot near post, didn't go in. It was well saved by the goalkeeper. You know, the best player for QPR by an absolute mile was Elias Chair. You know, one player that kept trying, kept working his nuts off, trying to get the, get his team into the game, but he just had no real support with him. I was surprised with, with Johansson, but Kefton Bell and Billy Mitchell really did, it was either one or the other, because normally them two can control the game, but but Billy Mitchell today and, and Kefton Bell really did uh, nullify the complete um, effects of, of of, of those two two players, but like I said, chair on in, in any other team in the championship uh, would have had a better day today because he did work tirelessly for, for QPR, really really giving it all. But um, who's your man in the match today, Zach? Um, I think a lot of people would agree with me today with uh, our brilliant, well, centre attacking midfielder of 
Jed Wallace because he works his nuts off and he he's just he's Jed Wallace, isn't he? He he has a world of his own up at um, up in this in this universe. So. So yeah. you're giving it to Jed? Yeah, works hard as well. Yeah, two, two assists. He, you know, he's got two assists. Two, two. I know he did well. The pre-assist for pre-assist for the um, the Malone pass to Bennett, and then the the nice little flick on for for um, for Tyler Bury. But I, I'm actually going to give it. I was going to give it to Bennett, but you know what? I'm going to give it to Bury just because of the goal that he scored, the work rate that he gave. Um, it was a great coming of age performance from him. I thought Billy Mitchell and Kefton Bell were excellent. To be fair, the whole team today need to take credit for, for that performance because they they deserved all three points against, to be fair, if I'm being honest, a pretty well below par QPR side. But you've got to beat what's in front of you. That's back-to-back -to -back wins. We've got a very tough away game at, on Saturday at Blackburn, which unusually me and Zach are not going to. Um, We've got the football training in, in, on Saturday morning that um, I knew we, we missed it tonight. We can't miss too many of them. So we're not going up to Blackburn on Saturday. But now I'm really gutted that we're not going. But it'll be interesting to see if we can perform to a similar... Because Blackburn, you expect to come at us and that will probably suit us again. We're driving through the Limehouse link. And to be fair, I feel like I could talk for uh, for the rest of the night. But I'm not going to. I'll let you um, I'll let you all go and, and settle into whatever you're drinking. I hope it, I hope it's a nice ice cold glass of something. Because we deserve to celebrate as Mill fans. Not often do we absolutely play a team off the park where you can drive home in the championship. Absolutely buzzing. I can't put it any, any better than that. Thank you very much for watching. Is there anything else you want to add? Um. We beat QBR. Yeah, we did beat QBR. Zach was ball boy today and, and done a little bit of time wasting it, so I'm proud of him. Uh, thank you very much for watching. The Mill will drive home. Get yourself subscribed if you're not. Only one way we can end it. No one likes us. We don't care. Yeah.